According to ANI, the Indian Army is about to issue a tender for the acquisition of 200 new locally made self-propelled howitzers equipped with 105mm guns. The aim of this procurement is to enhance mobile firepower in high-altitude border areas, particularly along the line of actual control LAC, with China. In addition to the 200 mounted howitzers, the Defense Ministry is considering approving 400 towed guns under the Make in India initiative. The proposal is scheduled for discussion in the Defense Acquisition Council meeting on November 30, 2023. This procurement aligns with the Indian Army's medium assation strategy, incorporating indigenous guns, with an anticipated completion by 2042. Over the past decade, the Army has concluded four contracts for the acquisition of a 155mm howitzer. The deployed gun systems include the Dhanush Toad Howitzer, the Sharang, a 130mm artillery gun upgraded to 155mm, the M777 Ultra Light Howitzer, ULH, and the K9 Vitra, an Indian variant of the South Korean K9 Thunder. One potential choice could be the Garuda 105-V2 from Kolyani Strategic Systems Limited, KSSL, as the Indian Army is exploring the possibility of acquiring this 105mm self-propelled howitzer to enhance its capabilities for high-altitude warfare. This artillery gun system is based on the locally developed 105mm-27 caliber light gun and has undergone testing in challenging environments, including Sikkim. The evaluation is based on the system's performance during testing, where it reportedly fired more than 2,800 rounds, showcasing reliability and effectiveness. In the context of high-altitude warfare, the Garuda 105-V2's lightweight design, under 5.5 tons, is seen by the Indian Army as a potential advantage. It is suggested that adaptability to rugged landscapes and the capability to deliver accurate firepower make it suitable for deployment in challenging terrains. The system's features include KSSL's hybrid recoil technology, a 4x4 wheeled chassis for maneuverability, a rapid deployment time of 2 million, and automated digital fire control. The 360 degrees firing capability and the ability to operate in high-altitude areas are also highlighted as key attributes.